This episode of the Kutu Muay Thai Podcast is brought to you by PMTLifestyle.com, authentic Muay Thai lifestyle by Kutu. Definitely go check out the website at PMTLifestyle.com for some awesome lifestyle merchandise that's for those of you out there either involved in Muay Thai, looking at getting involved in Muay Thai, and embrace a healthier lifestyle to live the life of Nak Muay. Go check it out. So what cop is Tuesday, March, I think March 19th, if I'm not mistaken currently in Santa Barbara, California, just trying to recover from the past uh, whirlwind, whirlwind the past couple weeks with work and stuff like that. Managed to catch cold, so I'm trying to get out, get some vitamin D, start feeling better, right? So I hope you're well and healthy out there. Uh, this past weekend we had promotions in Santa Barbara, the Putin Muay Thai Santa Barbara. Congratulations to all the students who were promoted up there. Super stoked to see. Always, always a good time with uh, Coach Ryan and and uh, the students in Santa Barbara. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, also, we had uh, Mr. Brian Almontes threw down again it's for his next outing after uh, USMTO last year in November in Arizona. So he fought in, at the Commerce Casino over there in East LA. Um, Went out there for Big Troy promotions. Troy's first show. Of course, they're doing construction over here now. <laughs> uh, Big Troy uh, promotions doing his his first show uh, set up at Commerce, which was freaking awesome. Super proud of that guy. He's able to go back out there. Um, my, much taller opponent went out there, handled it. Uh, didn't get the win, but definitely showed big improvements from his last outing. And I was talking to. Our chief instructor, Dan Ventura, created about this. <clears throat> For us, like, working with competition teams, it's kind of like working on, like, you know, you hear about people working on their cars, their drag cars, their their oldies and stuff like that that they're working on, old Cadillacs and whatnot. So you're working in the shop all the time, right? So then you get to bring it out to the car show. That's what fight nights are. You get to bring it bring out, it's like, hey, this is what we've been working on. This is what this person's been doing. So it's time for them to go go put it on display. Like, I, as instructors, that's like kind of like the gratification we get out of it. We obviously don't get money from uh, from uh, people can be amateur, even pro. There's no money in Muay Thai. Like, to kind of explain that is, let's say I was a professional boxing trainer. And boxing, there's much more money. You know, you'll get... Anywhere from like, you know, if you have a decent representation, you'll get at least your medicals covered plus like an extra six hundred dollars. So you're looking at like eighteen hundred dollars for like maybe a pro debuter that doesn't have a lot of name behind them as an amateur, doesn't have a lot of hype behind them. Where you know, and that, as you start establishing yourself more and more, you end up fighting and getting a more substantial purse. You know, you're you're seeing like five you know, four, five, and six grand for low-level pro boxing, whereas you're lucky if you get that in Muay Thai for even high level in Muay Thai. Well, what's considered high level here in the United States? So, like, you'll be lucky you get you get two grand, right? You get two or three grand, you're you're happy. So, you figure the ten percent off of the, you know. Four, five, six grand is going to be much more substantial for somebody for like a four week training, uh, four or six week training camp for a low level pro fighter as opposed to like somebody who's maybe, and they're able to fight more too. They can be more active. There's more pro boxing events than there are pro Muay Thai events in the United States. So you figure pro boxing, you're healthy, you're fighting every, you know, two or three months. And pro Muay Thai, you're fighting maybe twice a year here in the United States. So with that fight purse money, you're not really making anything. And I always like to just share that with everybody. Uh, it's it's for us. It's a it's a passion project. You don't get paid to work on the car, right? But it's a lot of fun, and we enjoy doing it. So <clears throat> thank you, everybody, for going out. That went out and supported Brian and checked out the fights. 
he was rocking the Lord of the Knee to the chest rings. He was channeling the Lord, as uh, Coach Ralph mentioned. I think that's freaking hilarious. Also, if you haven't already reserved your trunks, there's only one. I think we're only about seven. About 12 days away from finalizing our pre-sale. So with these shorts, a portion goes directly back to the gym in Thailand to Keith Kim Toin. Another portion goes directly back to the kids. Another portion stays with us at the Pu'u Muay Thai Academy. If you want them shipped to you, we can get them shipped to you. They're awesome collaborative shorts. Check the link in the show notes, PMT Lifestyle. You see a picture of the shorts and all the sizing. Um, we're using Western sizing standards. I sent them over a different sizing chart, so it's not by tie sizes. I repeat, it is not by tie sizes. If you don't know what tie sizes are, it's okay. You don't need to know about it. But as we're coming in through the first quarter, or we just finished the first quarter of the year, going into the second quarter, there are some more uh, people who are stepping up to the plate for competition, which is awesome. But also, I just want to say, give a shout out to the culture of the academy there in Ventura and here in Santa Barbara and all the students. Just a heartfelt thank you for supporting all the coaches and everything that we've been doing for uh, the academy and to continue on keeping doing what we're doing. We also have our Muay Thai community sparring this Sunday. That's going to be April 24th at 10 a.m. So if you're not already sparring, then it's not going to be something you could attend for sparring. But you're more than welcome to come out. Come say hi. Come meet everybody. Say hi. Hang out on a Saturday morning. Sorry, Sunday morning. My apologies. Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Here on beautiful State Street in Santa Barbara. Come check out the Santa Barbara Academy. Come say hi. If you've been trying to say, see me for a while, I know people ask me what I've been up to. And I've been, the past like couple weeks have been, or past couple months have been just a straight whirlwind of uh, work travel. So I'm uh, very excited to be back uh, in town for a bit. Of course, worked myself sick, but I'll get better. Um, as we get into the spring and stuff too I know we're going to be having some new merchandise come out uh, Working on some new merchandise designs With some designers and stuff too So looking forward to seeing those come back out And at, you know, Keep your eye out For another Muay Thai training camp uh, Coming up here In the coming month or two As well So those are always a lot of fun And just going into Our area you know, I want to kind of talk about this. A lot of people who are looking for Muay Thai, if you're listening to this and you don't train with us, or you're, and you're from Ventura, Santa Barbara, man, we're the only Muay Thai academy in Ventura, Santa Barbara. There's other great martial arts schools out there, but if you're looking for Muay Thai, we are the place. So if you want to come check us out, go hit the link in the show notes, PMT Lifestyle. Go check it out. We can get you started. Hit the Ventura, Santa Barbara Academy, whichever one is closest to you we can get you started from there all right so with that said for me personally I've just been working a lot on uh, our company our background processes for making sure everything is flowing and we keep growing we have our leadership training part of that is our leadership training for uh, our students that's going to be coming up I believe at the end of April uh, so about two weeks we're going to be doing another leadership team training down in Ventura uh, and anybody that's a green shirt or above that has not done leadership training, you should want to come to this. It's free for our students. Uh, we have people who have, you know, they're on the podcast. I, my friend, Mr. Rico Steele, they flew across country to come learn this uh, program and come to go through leadership training with us. So we do this free for our students. It's something that's massively beneficial. Uh, I really see the benefit as like an intermediate advanced student this is something you're going to want to be a part of. So this is something we, th- we think about and we relate to like our t-shirt color system that we have within our academy. It's like an advanced student. And what is an advanced student of Muay Thai? Think about it for a second. For us, it's somebody who's obviously has, has gone through the ringer through our program. So they're learning all the basics, balance, and techniques of Muay Thai. Not all of them, but you, know, you can't say you know all of them because there's always 
different things you don't know about, right? Different thought processes. But you know, understand the basics, balance, and techniques of Muay Thai. You know the history and culture of Muay Thai. You know about how to conduct sparring. You know how to spar. You know how what it takes to wrap and tape hands and corner somebody for a competition. Uh, and you know all the rules and regulations of Muay Thai. You know everybody's rules and like jobs as ring officials and their duties because even if you're not competing you still want to understand that because that's kind of our job is to educate you on how muay thai operates from the martial art all the way up through the sport version of it too so that's kind of what the leadership team training is going to open up the doors for you so even if you're not interested in all that, you still should have a basic level of understanding of all those things. So that's one of the reasons why we do our leadership team training. And if you're listening to this and it's something that might interest you or something like if you have a, a Muay Thai Academy and something might interest having something like that your academy, hit me up. Um, I can figure out how to uh, guide you towards the, the right resources to get that going for your program. Uh, or you can come out and come visit and we could, we could try it up like we had with our friends. All right. So, uh, man, I'm really just trying to keep it together here. It's been uh, under the weather for the past, like, two days. Just trying to recover. So it was, we had Denver, then we had Mexico, and then we had uh, USMTO. It was just, everything was all back-to-back. So it was, it was a bit nuts. But like I said, just happy to be back in town and uh, doing what we're doing. I am working on another book as well on Muay Thai. Uh, stay tuned on what the topic of that is Uh, but I I had a lot of people ask me about this so um, I figured rather than share everybody individually I'd rather just write a book that way you guys can all just read it you have all the information there at hand make it easily accessible for everybody all right Um, also want to give a shout we had uh, a couple people join our internship program for Pu'u Muay Thai I am just getting started with them. Um, If you're interested in learning like uh, media content development for uh, Muay Thai, uh, hit me up. Uh, Go join the Muay Thai Community Discord. Shout out to our Muay Thai Community Discord who's been holding it down. We have some awesome moderators in there and stuff too. Um, It's great to see an active community of like-minded people who are interested in Muay Thai, love Muay Thai, train Muay Thai, or just watch Muay Thai. And so there's even competitors, promoters, um, you know, shout out to Anthony uh, Salcedo from Athlon Rub. I know he's he's joined in the Discord over there too. Uh, but just really awesome, small, tight-knit community, all right? And it, that's just a good way for us to all get connected. We don't have to worry about the algorithms from, you know, uh, Facebook or Instagram, or anything like that filtering us. We can just go chat on there and, and we're all set, okay? Well... Thank you so much for tuning in today, guys. I hope you have a great day. Uh, I got some more stuff coming down the pipes uh, in the podcast spectrum. And uh, if you're interested or something you think should be on the show, don't hesitate to reach out. Something I always love having our students on here, too. So if you're one of our students that's listening to this and you want to share your experience with Muay Thai, let me know. It's very easy for me to do. All right. That said, have a great day. Sweaty cup. All right. That's it today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys are listening on iTunes, please go leave a review. It means the world to me if you enjoy the content, if you like hearing about all stuff that has to do with Muay Thai and what we're doing. 